Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Ripple moves higher on new credit facility, XMR, R-E-N-Z-E-C, on October 12th. And uh, XRP has found support at the 0.22 level and is now looking to move back towards the recent highs of near 0.33. The move higher in XRP comes as Ripple Labs announced the release of a loan facility five months after it announced the plan line of credit and it's currently in beta version and would provide approved customers with working capital loans in xrp for cross-border payments the project said those using odl on RippleNet can purchase xrp from ripple on credit the product is aimed at small and medium-sized enterprises that lack the financial power of larger players to gain access to working capital the product comes with a fee which ripple states will be lower than the standard credit options and in the next article we have a ripple ceo lack of regulatory framework is putting u.s companies at a disadvantage and it was only last week when Ripple's co-founder Chris Larson said that Ripple may consider relocating to other countries, citing the lack of regulatory clarity in the U.S., following which Ripple's CEO Brad Garlinghouse shared his opinions today regarding the need for regulatory clarity. And in a Twitter thread, Garlinghouse emphasized again a possibility that Ripple could move out of the U.S. given its lack of a regulatory framework. The lack of a single national regulatory framework is putting U.S. innovations and U.S. companies at a significant disadvantage. All we're asking for is a level playing field. And if we, meaning Ripple, need to move to another country to get that, then that's the path we have to take. So on the next article, similar to the previous, Brad Garlinghouse is breaking his silence and he's finally offering that more clarity regarding his company's plan to relocate its headquarters to another country in an October 12th Twitter thread. So Ripple basically eyeing new countries, as stated by you today, former Ripple Chris Larson, who is known as the richest cryptocurrency entrepreneur, was the first to mention that Ripple was on the verge of leaving the U.S. at the L.A. Blockchain Summit last week. And while it's not clear which country will become Ripple's new home, the UK, Switzerland, Japan, and Singapore have been floated as possible destinations. So Ripple's gone to great lengths in order to stay cozy with US lawmakers and regulators of the past few years, and they are one of the few who have done that from day one. On the next article, we have XRP valued at $100, question mark, possible say survey participants and i would say that a hundred dollars is a good start because we're going much higher than that and as people begin to see the way the plan unfolds i think even those who are bullish are going to be surprised at how this unfolds all right guys i want to leave you with a final thought great attitude is like a perfect cup of coffee don't start your day without it This is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Much love, and we will catch you in the next one.